What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So, y'all, it's currently 8.25 in the a.m. I have see, I have not been asleep yet, so probably going to be sounding a little cuckoo. Don't give a damn. Uh, Krishan and Blueface last night, well, obviously, a few hours ago, was getting into it on Twitter. Now, I'm going to read this tweet from uh, a couple of days ago. Well... No, it was actually yesterday. I love dealing with people on my terms that compromising ish ain't it when you a boss. I've been the I've been the most stress free I've ever been. I got my oh Lord Starker. I did read this <laughs> here and there because I didn't know what Lord Starker was at all. I still don't. I got my best friends close as F and I got freedom to be that itch. Right? So for some reason, girl, they started going back and forth on Twitter. Now, I want to react to it here because the words, the curse words is bleeped out. But I will figure it out because I'm like, how y'all going? Let me put myself. All right. <laughs> this ain't even going to be right. I have to go look at his. Let me just read this for y'all and then we're going to go to his. Um, First of all, he did call her a side B. Um, I got to go to his because it's only going to make sense for me to go to his first. All right. He probably ain't do too much cursing, but you know, she always got to have a freaking curse word every other 30 seconds. Um, posting a stepdad. Okay, hold on. Here we go. He said, when the lie detector test episode dropped, you guys will understand why I demoted Krishan to a side B. Girl, he put a name on it. A side B, your main B, got to keep it 100. Even when it hurts the position, I'm in my main, got to listen. Over a jail call, if need be, it's a lot of assets involved. I can't depend on no liar. Now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I hate liars. Oh, my God. A liar is the worst thing that you could ever be, you know, and a thief, right? And I, I kind of felt him on the jail call, I ain't going to lie, because if something happened, he, he wouldn't be able to depend on her. Like, say, for instance, he get locked up. She kind of let him get locked up. <laughs> I mean, he can let her get locked up, too. Somebody, let me tell you all something, too. Somebody said today, uh, I'm basically fanned out over Krishan, and I don't, um, it's no rationale in what I'm saying. And I want you to know and everybody else, it's no rationale in none of this shit with these two. Ration? Where? <laughs> we all trying to figure out what's one plus one in this situation because it don't be two. It be like nine and shit. It be like way off the number. Girl, we just be talking at this point. But anyway. He said, but I will let you guys sympathize, sympathies, um, and feel bad for her for today's episode. Poor baby. I can get over the truth, but I can never get over a lie. So Krishan started popping her, you know, and I go to this screen <laughs> to go to Twitter because child Twitter be having all kind of porn on there. Um. That's crazy. She popped up first, too. All these damn curse words, girl. So she said, what side be? If you had itches and I had niggas, I say it was a regular toxic situation. We fell out because I separated my checks, which that was T, but we knew that. Um, we fell out because I don't want you controlling me. You ain't my itch. If I can't control you, um, it was it was cool till you started saying only you can cheat. Um, she said, you wanted to F with other itches. I never was yours. Just, just loved you for a season of my life. That's all. I'm like, Krishan talking that shit today. <laughs> um, you wanted to do you. So I did me simple. Then I got tired of that. So I went on about my way for real. I rather make bread alone than with someone that ain't really with me. And he rather deal with a woman that's dumb than a liar. Okay. 
Uh, she said, you tweeting because you are blocked. No more coochie for you, blue girl. She said, no more coochie. Okay. Um, it ain't your coochie no more. Itch. I don't want F with you. I had to say how she would say it. When you want F with me, I want F with you. Only when I want F with you. <laughs> so F you, your B ass called five times for no caller ID. <laughs> okay, so he said I can get over the truth, but I can never get over a lie. I can I can deal with a female that cheat. I've been cheated on plenty of times ish. I cheat on every B I've been with. But tell the truth is all I ask. You can't be a cheater, liar, thief, snitch, manipulator, um, loose, and not lose. I don't fuck. I guess lose your tooth I, and not listen or be coachable. Like, come on, cuz, shorten the list or be replaced. <laughs> I can't even lie. I don't, I don't blame them. Uh, these females gonna lay with me regardless. Um, she said. I'm going to unblock your BA when the baby gets here. But for now, enjoy pretending by all means. I don't give a F. And then she said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you get over me. I promise. Then she said, I'm going to make it easy. Then she said, I don't care. Then she said, the ocean is beautiful four hours ago. Um, he said, I am the truth. Posting a stepdad will not make me feel any type of way. I'm a good side nigga. <laughs> I'd rather be the nigga you cheating on your nigga with than vice versa from a man's perspective. You know, he got answers for everything, y'all. First of all, I just want to say this. To any of y'all in the comments that be like kind of going crazy in the comments about these two. And in the side of right, I feel like there is no side. Um... Both of them cheated on each other and was never together. Do you see how that's irrational? How can you cheat on somebody you not with? Prashana say that all the time, but then I bring up cheating. I, it don't make sense. Y'all was never together, so nobody cheated on anyone. Fuck. Okay, that's number one. Number two, she lied to him, and he can't get over it. Uh, he. She was, well, he was cheating up. <laughs> he was having sex with other women. Didn't want her to have sex with other men. She wasn't feeling that. Um, and I think she was cool with everything else until he said that. It's like, all right, bro, if you're going to do you, I'm going to do me too, you know? And I feel like he wanted her to hold down this role while he do him. And that's some Jaden shit, not Krishan shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, at some point, I feel like it will end um, between them or they'll be smashing, smash buddies for the rest of their life. I don't feel like she, I don't trust Krishan either at this point. Cause every time she says she ain't going to go back, she do. So I just think that at some point, and then we got a baby now. <laughs> like it's not. There's no ration with this. This is a mess. Anybody that's on blue side, you feel like you're right, you are. Anybody that's on Krishan's side, you feel like you're right, you are. But y'all, I'm not fangirling over Krishan. It's just that in certain cases, she do be making a little more sense. Like, I can't side with a nigga who will say, uh, I mean, I should be able to cheat, but you should stay at home. I'm not side with that shit. I absolutely disagree. If my if my girl go if my girl tell me I can smash on something, and I decide to do that, I expect for her to smash on something. Period. <laughs> I don't know what world y'all live in where it's like I'ma just do what he say. So, like, can you imagine sitting at home chilling while a nigga just out smashing another bitch, and then he just come home like nothing happened when you was sitting there all night worried about where the hell he was at. Baby, I ain't the one. So I'm on Krishan's side with that. But with Blue, I'm completely on his side with the lying part. If we not together, what you lying for? <laughs> if we not together, what you lying for anyway? I mean, it's, it's literally no reason for you to lie. <laughs> now, some of y'all might say maybe she felt like um, he would react in a, in a way that was 
you know, crazy. He might have gotten abusive, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. I can't say Krishan too scared because Krishan would knock his ass out with glass. She would simply whoop his ass. She's done it, you know. So I don't feel like she too scared of him. So I can't side with that. You know what I'm saying? And this whole bank account thing, too. A lot of people are like, Krishan is basically too grown to not be able to get her own bank account. Blue was telling Krishan that she ain't had no money. And she the one making the money. But the problem is he had the money in his possession. You can't, you can't take nothing from somebody that's in their possession legally. You get what I'm saying? Even if you the one who doing whatever, she can't just go to that nigga bank and be like, yo, that's my money because I, that's not how that work. So I think that she played her cards very well um, and got her name off the whatever paperwork. She said split checks. So I guess he get half now and she get her half, which before he wasn't doing that. This nigga was giving allowances and shit. Um, so girl, <laughs> I could go on and on and on. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. It's getting closer to the time where I'm about to take my ass to sleep. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.